Hi there guys and welcome back to EOS Tips. Now this video assumes that you've already watched my interview with EOS Detroit with Rob Konsdorf because this video I'm going to introduce a correction and modification to my opinion from that episode. So in that episode where I interviewed Rob, he made me aware for the first time that there's this feature in EOS that allows the 21 block producers or two thirds of them to remove one of the 21 block producers, right? Rob actually emailed me about this and the feature is called remove producer. It's RMV producer. So he actually sent me a link to it in GitHub EOS mainnet yada yada. So I'll put a link to that in the description for this video. So the whole idea is, is that two thirds of the block producers could remove one of the 21 block producers. And in the interview, I said, absolutely not, shouldn't be allowed. If a block producer isn't doing their job properly, then the other block producers should be like pointing to them saying, look, they're not doing their job properly, token holders, vote them out. And my position was that it should be the token holders that then listen to that input from other block producers who make them aware of the bad behavior, and then we vote them out. But the comment that's changed my mind comes from a YouTube user by the name of Two Kings, Three Queens, very nice, it's a full house. So they say, Chris, I disagree with your view on removal of block producers needing to be done by token holder votes. In fact, um, I already voted for block producers and as block producers, they have agreed to a reg producer contract and I expect them to fully abide by it. So that was the, that was the thing. I said, I don't care if they are my favorite team, if they can't abide by what they agreed to, then they should be removed in order to, to rectify the situation. So what they're saying is that it shouldn't be down to token holders because there is a possibility that in my scenario where the good behaving block producers just make a song and dance about it and say, look, Mr. Number 10 block producer isn't doing their job properly and they can rent and rave all they want to. But if the token holders don't take action to punish that block producer by voting them out, it stays the same and that bad behavior is allowed to continue. Whereas with this remove producer function, the two thirds of the block producers can say, right, number 10 block producer, you've agreed to the, um, what do they call it, reg producer contract. So when you register as a block producer, you agree to perform your duties. And if you're not doing that, then we shouldn't mess about, right? They should be out of the top 21 completely. And that's what two thirds of the block producers have the power to do. So update, new opinion, I've changed my opinion. I now agree with this feature, remove producer, on the basis of this two kings, three queens comment. Now, interestingly, when Rob and I spoke, Rob Konsdorf, CEO of EOS Detroit, we were talking about, so what happens if you trigger this red, red producer function and kick one of the top 21 block producers out? What happens? Can they get reelected? What's the deal? So he says in the email to me after the interview, mind you, he said, I ended up finding that remove producer function yesterday. It looks like it does in fact disable the producer account altogether. So we'll have to dig into the GitHub page that they sent me here and see exactly how that works. Maybe we'll be able to figure it out, maybe not, because it's uh, it's full of code. So uh, not sure if I'm going to be able to comprehend this because it's all C++. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say for today. In the spirit of openness, I took feedback, modified my map of reality, changed my opinion on it. I now agree with this reg producer function. So just wanted to make that video to let you know about that. Uh, like this video if you like it, leave a comment down below with some feedback, hit the subscribe button if you're not already, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go back and watch the interview with Rob Konsdorf from EOS Detroit, then you can find out what I'm talking about with regards to this remove producer feature. It's quite early on in the interview, right? Well, that's all for now. I'll be back with the next episode of EOS Tips. Until then, it's me, Chris Coney, saying bye-bye for now.